Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm glad you all are enjoying the breakfast, but enough of the formalities. Um, let's get rid of the elephant in the room. Uh, we broke. Screw. We ain't got no money. I guess child startup money can only get you so far, right? Yeah, I knew I should have done another movie. But life happens. Uh, but what this ultimately comes down to is you guys. Yep. You guys, not me, not my investment habits, but you guys. But none to worry. Uh, what I'm thinking is new scare ideas. The best ideas. I'm talking lock your doors, bar your eyes out, Betty White, naked scare ideas. And luckily for us, the ghost of Christmas past did us a little favor 70 years ago and wrote a book chock full of them. These bad boys who have the most scares around, the most and the best. But aren't his tactics often um, discriminatory? Yeah, the Ghost of Christmas Past tactics are only to be used on old white men. We can't be living like this, Casper. What if I want to do a hunt of school or most I come to church? All right, God, we won't do all the old white man stuff. Thank you. But the rest of his ideas were abided by. This is how we get back on track, people. Okay, but enough's enough. If you would please reach under your chairs you will find nothing that I mentioned we were broke. So, uh, what you all must do is get your own copies. And But until then, let's start off with idea one, which I'm assigning to, hmm, Mark. Yes, Mark. Um, and you will be, ooh, this is a good one, scaring someone to death. So, once again, congratulations, Mark. Everybody give a round of applause for Mark. So, scaring someone to death? Uh, don't think about it like that. Think about the money it'll make us. A 10 on the intensity scale. But Casper, he's only been for two weeks. I mean, I, I know that. I'm trying to throw him into deep waters. Mark, you struck me as a very adventurous spirit. Um, when have we ever murdered people? Never. Uh, it's never come across my mind until now. I, 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 I am. Um, thank you. I just don't. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I will be checking in with you later. See how you're doing. Everyone else, you will be receiving your tactics tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you. I don't know why he chose me, the new guy, out of like all people. Like I'm not even a scary person at all. Like. Only time I scared somebody was in like middle school. Like I reached for this girl's hands, like I had ash on my hands and junk. She saw it, she started crying. But other than that, I never really scared anybody. Like he dumb. It's insulting. Insulting? Yes, insulting. I mean, God, who are, who are you to tell me that I don't exist? Arthur, I don't think that. <sighs> Out. How are we ever supposed to make sales if they're publishing things like this? I mean, you know, there's different ways. Screw skepticism. I mean, all these people with their high and mighty science and truth, they don't know Jack Squad. Arthur, please. We haven't made a scare since Paranormal Activity. Okay, but what about a sequel? Did that help? It bombed, like blew up, as in no. Sorry. I think I'm gonna print out my papers and resign tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna travel the world and do, do my own haunts and scares. And you know, I was thinking about running some type of my own business, you know, like a mirror business where they do bloody mirrors or something like that. Something scary. Introduce the Golden Years Tribute Series Outdoors. And the first show of five comes Saturday night, April 28th at 7.30 at the Lithonia Amphitheater. ...and the rules collapse. When I raise my trigger finger, all your fuckers hit the deck. Cause ain't no need for that. Hustlers and hardcore. Roar to the floor, roar like reservoir doors. The green eye band, they can't stand it. We're more booty and loops than that you can't stand it. So today, Albert and I, we are visiting a house that we've been haunting for the past three weeks, and Casper thinks they have the potential to have profitable scares, but 
Honestly, I, I don't believe the same. I mean, literally, Albert is my best friend and I love haunting with him, but it's impossible to scare this couple. Like, I just can't scare them. Wake up! Boo! Wake up! Why'd you try yelling at them or something? Was I not just yelling? Why don't you go slam the door or something and maybe wake them up that way? So, uh, yeah. It looks like it's gonna be another day of failure again. So today the ghost hunters went to scope out this old building that's a couple blocks away from the office. So Casper decided to send Hugh and I there to get some scares. I mean, the fact that I'm working with Hugh tells you how badly we need the money. I hope I just become numb to him eventually. That's the same thing I've done with Casper, just blocked him out completely. I don't know why she's so upset. I just be trying to have fun. I don't know why everything gotta be so serious. Ha <laughs> ha! And I'll shove the money in your face. Seriously, I promise. I'll give it to you, I promise. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ted, I think I know what this is about. You want me to do another movie, right? Yeah, and I'll let you know right here on the spot that I'm in, but I would like a better love interest this time. Well, why not? Whatever. All right. I'll give it to you by the end of the month. You believe this guy? Not profitable. Not profitable. Oh, oh, okay. Hello? Mr. G. Hmm. But where's my money? Why haven't you tried to scare in over a month? Though? Um, <laughs> it hasn't been a month. It's, that's not true. And yet it is, Casper. I know you already spoke with Ted about the money, but I wanted to add that we don't want you using maximize your scares. What are you talking about? This this is how I get you scares. It has a history of racism, Casper. And no one at corporate wants to do with the amount of... But I'm making it open to everyone, though. The haunt's diversity is great. And I've never discriminated. We can't let you use it. I'm sorry. I, I really am. Well, wow. I guess you're just going to have to call me a failure. All right. You're a failure. Okay. <laughs> you have money management problems, Casper. Let's face it. Money management problems? The trip to Taiki Tea? That was strictly business. It wasn't anything, like, it, was, it wasn't for my pleasure at all. It was, it was strictly business. Oh, really? Y yes, yes it was. Hmm. The lowest scare record of all haunted branches. Inaccurate data, I can assure you. And your movie money's gone. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say gone exactly. But it's gone. How the hell am I supposed to keep talking about it, keep slamming doors in my face? Well, I'm not apologizing. That was my salary you messed up. Well, it was your fault, too. You didn't scare them either. Well, did I make jokes? Hey, Mr. G. It's, it's me again. Yes, Casper. What is it? Um, I have a favor to ask, please. Uh, what is the favor? Um, okay, so look. I know you don't like the book. I get it. And I'm totally cool with it, but I already assigned one of the ideas to someone, but it'll also make us money. And? And I just feel so bad. It was it's one of our new guys, and he's been working so hard on it. Hey! Hey, 
Get out of here. Uh, boo. Boo. Hmm. What's the assignment? Ooh, I think we're going to like this one. Scaring to death. Dear God. Is, is, is everything is everything okay? Yes, Jasper. Explain scaring to death. Well, this idea will make us thousands, literal thousands. Mm -hmm. But the lawsuits, Jasper. The, the legal implications. So we'll we'll get a judge, and I'll and I'll go to court. But who cares? It's Jasper. We've never done it before. That's that's a completely different business. Well, I I I am a pioneer, and I truly believe in venturing into new new waters, and I really think it's a good idea. And the fact that you're giving it to a beginner. He'll be fine. Really? Yes. I, I, I have complete and utter faith in him. His audition was completely amazing. Uh, it's really good stuff, I assure you. Run away! Boo! Well, this time I can assure you, it'll be different. So just, just forget all the legal stuff. I've got this. Okay, I'll do it. But I swear, if Mark messes this up, he won't. I can assure you. Okay. Goodbye, Casper. Okay. All right, Mr. G. You take care now. Okay. Bye bye. So, why are we broke? Um, I definitely took a trip to India. Yeah, the food was great. Saw a lot of belly dancers. Um, uh, yeah, but I didn't expect that it would take much of our money. So I've come up with this new idea that I'm almost 100% sure that'll work. Um, I've given it to our new guy, Mark. Luckily, um, I, he gave a great audition so hopefully he will uh, deliver. If not, then I'm screwed. Uh, yeah. Scaring to death requires not only surprise, but an advanced level of hostility and language use. Though we cannot be seen or felt by humans, there are plenty of effective tactics we may employ. Vocal projection is key and can be mastered by the following vocal exercises that I, the Ghost of Christmas Past, have arranged and practiced myself. You, you guys saw what happened. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Um, it's just amazing. It's really, truly amazing. I came from the bottom. I went to the top. I scared the man. Didn't even have to use the ash on my hands. It's just a great feeling. And uh, the shout out Casper for giving me this job. You feel me? Um, I just, it's amazing. I love you guys. Okay, people. I'm happy to say that we are now profitable. We are now making more than ever, thanks to, there's our guy, Mark. Everybody give a round of applause for Mark. How am I feeling about the recent scare? Um, I'm feeling great. I did not think Mark was gonna pull it off, but he did. Uh, Mr. G was also happy to find out that we made a lot of money. Um, I'm also happy, and I could take another business trip. So. <laughs>